Hello, um, how's everyone doing in the lockdown? It's it's a bit boring, isn't it, really? Um, well, the other day I decided that I wanted to photograph some still lifes, which just means objects around the house or things that I pick up on my, you know, one daily walk or whatever. Um, and in order to do that, I decided to make a little studio, as it were, really nice and easy. And if I show you, it's just down there. So, essentially, it's a board at the back, painted black, board at the bottom to keep things in, and then a board at the front with a hole in it, um, which will become apparent in a reason why we did that. But, really easy setup, and I'm just gonna start photographing in a fine art way that I do. Um, things around the house, like I say, things that I pick up every now and then. But, what I really wanted to show you guys was how we can change and sculpt light really easily, even with a window. Um, so I've got another camera down here, which hopefully is recording. Um, and we're gonna play around with light and see what happens. I'm gonna take some photos and show you what happens as well. Um, so really, really simply, all I've got is a blind. And down here, I've got my still life. And we can actually affect how light moves on our object just by changing the blind. So at the moment it's shooting up towards the ceiling and as you can see, it's gonna be pointing down. So now it's on our subjects. And that's all pretty directional. If I wanted non-directional, I can open it up. And now we've got a really nice atmosphere all over. So I'm gonna take some photos now and uh, show you guys exactly what's going on and what I'm seeing in all the different modes. So let's have a little look. Okay, so here we are with the little studio set up and the reason we've got this around here just simply means that we can frame the image totally black, still have light coming in, but the light won't leak into the camera. So it's gonna look like it's just a pure black background. Um, and as I take more and more photos, you'll see that happen more and more. But let's have a little play and see what happens with all the light. Okay, so I'll just flip my camera into manual. Um, so let's play around with the settings and get it all happy to start off with. Um, I quite like it to be a shallow depth of field. So at the moment we can see that we're on F13. Um, so let's bring that down to two. Yeah, let's go for F2. Now that's clearly way too bright. So therefore what we should do is get our shutter speed and reduce that all the way down. Now my ISO is 400 at the moment, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So at the moment, I'll just take a photo there. And we can see, you know, the light is pretty even all around. And again, at the moment, it's with the blind fully open. But, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to shut the blind. Just so that the blind's down. Okay, now that hasn't massively changed what's going on apart from a little bit less light. It's not really changed the direction. So hopefully you'll see this. So if I point the light down you should be able to see that sweet spot just happening. So I kind of want to angle it somewhere about there. That looks good to me. So that's pretty dark. So if we change our shutter speed to be over a longer time, it's going to be brighter. I will take another shot and let's have a little look. So yeah, the light's looking pretty good. It's not the sharpest it could be, so maybe our depth of field needs to change. So if I change the aperture to, let's go for four. Okay, so that's now two stops darker from two, because it goes two, 2.8, 2 
F4. So now I need to let in all of this light, which again, I'm just gonna do with my shutter speed. I'm on a tripod here, so there's not gonna be any camera shake. So we'll go for 30 of a second, take a photo, and there we are, but it's, it's not really that interesting. So this is what I do relatively often. And I'll show you at the end. It's put a board on top. And I've literally now just turned off the lights for half of the image. And I can move it and we can see in the image it changing. So again, I'm gonna take a photo of here see how we get on so if I open it up again so we're letting in loads of light but all from one side and now we've got this gorgeous light just coming in from the side but if I move this board to this side we can see now we've got a shadow and the light coming in on this side. If I really want, I can put it over the top evenly. And now all we've got is light from this side and a little bit of light coming in this side. Could go one step further. Move it even more. And that's sort of what I'm playing around with at the moment. So hopefully it will give you a little bit of inspiration just to experiment with what you got at home and maybe build a little studio and see how you get on. So as I said before, um, I just get bored and put that on top and it's just, I don't know what it is. Um, I think once upon a time it was a bit of a table from Ikea most likely. Um, and we can change where the shadows are just by putting it on top. Really nice and easy. And like I say, you can play around with a blind, you can play around with a window curtains, anything like that, that will just help shape light in the way that you want. So have a play around, see what happens and just enjoy photography. So thank you very much.